we'll need scissors a punch needle yarn so for this for this mat i decided to use green orange and burgundy in addition to those you'll need this string i'll show you how to use it and a sack so the kind of sack that you're supposed to use um, is required to have small spaces in between the, the partitions so the person who taught me how to do this brought this sack with her she used it to show me we decided to fold it into two because the the spaces between these two parts the you know how a sack looks like so the spaces between were too huge when you use the punch needle to create the loops the sack needs to have small spaces in between those partitions okay you'll get what i'm trying to tell you when i show you so at the back i just i had drawn patterns these two rectangles many of them a few of them all over the mat some are horizontal others are vertical i use the marker pen and they are fading but they are not all gone so i can redraw and then i just labeled green burgundy green orange orange i already did the orange parts also as you can see then the edges are bound just take it to a tailor and they'll do this for you so because we folded this one it was not aligning well as you can see so i'd recommend that you find a nice sack one that doesn't have huge spaces between the parts the partitions so that you don't have to fold your sack we tried to use a stapler to step all the pieces together so that they align but the sack has a mind of its own so i just talked with this i hope it will turn out well and i'm finally done i think you can find a, a punch needle if you are interested in buying one in our shop near you a shop that sells yarn uh, if you are in nakuru you can check them you can check wool shop the one that is opposite taskies the taskies that is on the same block as choppies that one and i think you can find them online just check in any online store so this is the string this is the eye of the needle and this is where you insert the string Then you pull and then it will come here. Oh nope. Now you insert this end in the eye of the needle. Like that.
and you're good to go so this is how we are looking so I'm starting with the green parts obviously so this is how you begin at the beginning you punch you hold it then you punch another one and you hold it then you tie these two together this is at the beginning so that you secure your your yarn ouch also be careful this thing is really sharp as you can see it has left me with breezes Secure that in a tight knot. Yes. You can cut off this extra part, but to to avoid wastage can ensure that you leave out a small piece of yarn and like me here okay now the rest is as simple as ABC ABCD you just punch and remove it not fully until the punch remove punch remove not all the way out you punch and remove not all the way out see this one's remain but if you punch and remove nothing will remain here it will it will unravel okay so to be uniform you can do you can decide to punch going vertically or horizontally and I prefer horizontally so I'm going to come back down punching and then I go my way because I hate change so this is not supposed to happen this is a mistake so I will not go on with that so you see for these colors not to intertwine so much when you get to the boundaries you leave like a space in the middle like here I left these two spaces the space here and the final product they don't intermingle they don't it, it, it looks neater this way so if you don't want them to look like that they are different colors you leave a space between them so when I get to this end I just go back following a, a straightish line because it's difficult to keep a straight line 